Hey there folks, in today's video I'm going to help you fix your leaking front load LG washer. And this fix will also help with any bad smell that's coming out of this gasket. So the problem is the gasket itself, there's a drain inside. I'm going to show you real quick how to access that. So there's a little spring here. We're going to take a flathead screwdriver, and if you see right in there, pry it up. Just like that. So that's the spring. It's this metal ring. Now we're gonna peel back our gasket here. The gasket will be staying on. So our next step, we're gonna be looking inside here. I'm gonna reposition the camera and give you a nice close up. All right, so if we look down here, there's these two clamps right here. And if you follow that pipe there's this black pipe and it goes down and there's another clamp in there we're going to remove the clamp that's at the bottom there with a pair of pliers and you'll have to pardon my reach there in front of the camera and then we're going to take off the clamp at the top here that's attached to the gasket. So now if we look down inside where we took that clamp off of, you wanna see if there's any junk inside, which there actually is. So we're gonna clean some of that out. Same with in here. Make sure it's all cleaned out. So we're just gonna grab a cotton swab and get inside there real quick. All right, so we're just gonna reach our cotton swab inside that hole there. You can bend it a little bit, make it easier. And as you can see, it's pretty nasty. So that'll all be clogging inside there and not allowing any water to pass or restricting it. So once you've got as much as you can out, get inside the bottom of the gasket here as well. And you can actually lift up the gasket and get inside. Now here's the piece that we took off. If you look at it, there's a nice big piece sticking out of the top there. So all that is restricting your water flow. I'm just going to put it under the tap on the sink and just flush some water through it and then we'll put it all back together. All right, so make sure your white piece is facing up. And then put your clamp back in. Push your white piece into your gasket here and then put this clamp back on. Alright, and just make sure all the way around that it's seated properly. And we're just going to reposition the camera again and show you how to get this gasket back on. Alright, so you want to make sure you're going to, there's a little lip on the inside here. You want to put that over the lip here and just work your way around and get it all back into place. All right, once it's nice and snug all the way around, you're gonna take your wire spring here, have the spring 
that's here sitting at the bottom. Push it into that gap there. And then what I like to do is have a flat edge screwdriver. You can do it with two flat edge screwdrivers, but I also have this little tool. It's actually a trampoline spring tool. So I like to have the one side here all the way on. And then pull this just like so. Give it enough slack. Just be careful that you don't slip and hurt yourself. Just double check that that wire is seated all the way around properly. And that's all there is to it. And then you can wipe the inside of the gasket, give it a test run before you put any laundry and make sure it's not leaking. Other than that, you're good to go. Hopefully you found this helpful. This will stop your leaking down the front here, and it'll also make sure there's no mold buildup or smell buildup. Thanks for watching everybody, and please like and subscribe. All right, folks, so one more thing to mention, we're just doing a quick tub clean here. So as you can see, there's no leaking, and this will also disinfect that drain. It'll get everything all nice and cleaned within, get that bad smell out. And we're just going to use the tub cleaner such as this one. You can use any brand you like. And that's all there really is to it. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you later.